Hello students, let's have some fun learning about laws. Indian Constitution. When Indian Constitution came into existence, laws for the country began to be made by our representatives. The Indian Parliament made laws for the entire country. Whenever people think that a new law is necessary, the, they purpose for it, they propose for it, the parliament then comes forward and does what is required. The parliament has an important role in making law. There may be ways to which these take place and it is often different groups in society that raise the need for a particular law. An important role of parliament is to be sensitive to the problem faced by the people. If we talk about Domestic Violence Act, it is an example of domestic violence. Domestic violence was brought to the attention of parliament and process adopted by the issue to became law. The many uh, women organization raised their voice against the domestic violence. Domestic violence is referred to an injury or harm or threat of injury or harm caused by an adult male, usually the husband, against his wife. Injury may be caused by physically beating up the woman or by emotionally. The issue of domestic violence was raised by the people, many women organizations, and it was brought to the attention of parliament, which is due to pass the law. The Protection of Women from Domestic Violence Act to approve this issue. And after that, this act was enacted on 2006. Come on effect on 2006. Let's talk about controversial law. When any law favors one group and disregards the other, then it is called controversial law. This type of law leads to conflict. Time to time parliament passed law that turned out to be very unpopular. Sometimes a law can be constitutionally valid and hence legal, but it can continue to be unpopular and unacceptable to people because they feel that the intention behind it is unfair and harmful. Hence, the people might criticize this law, hold public meetings, write about it in newspaper, report on TV news channels, etc. In democracy, like our citizen can express their unwillingness to accept the repressive laws framed by the parliament. When a large number of people begin to feel that a wrong law has been passed, then there is a pressure on the parliament to change this. So we can say the role the role of citizen in question in helping parliament frame different concerns that, that people might have into laws. It's not like that after voting, when the people are given their vote, their responsibility uh, goes. No. After that, it as a uh, being a good citizen, it is a, the role of the citizen to helping a parliament in framing a different type of laws. Sometimes it is so happened that law passed by the parliament turn out to be unpopular. Sometimes law can be constitutional valid, as I told you, or hence illegal. We can make it clear to an example. Various municipal laws on the use of space within municipal limits often make hawking and street bathing illegal. No one will dispute the necessity for some rules to keep the public space open for people's convenience. At the same time, one cannot deny that the hawker and vendor provide essential services. This is their means of livelihood. Hence, if the laws favor one group and disregards the other, it will be controversial and lead to conflict. In such a situation, people can go to the court 
which has the power to modify or cancel laws if it finds that they don't adhere to the constitution. In a democratic country like India, people have full right to protest unjust laws. Here, the few new terms given, rule of law, sedition, evolution, Hindu Succession Amendment Act 2005, domestic violence, criticize, and the justice. Rule of law means that all laws apply equally to all citizens of country and no one can be above the laws. Sedition, this applies to anything that government might consider as a spring up resistance or rebellion against it. The good example of this is the British Pass Sedition Act 1870. Under uh, this act, any person protesting or criticizing the British government could be arrested without a trial. Evaluation in this chapter, it refers to the way in which uh, protect, protecting women against domestic violence developed from an urgently fed need to a new law that can be enforced in the entire country. Hindu Succession Amendment Act 2005, according to this law, son, daughter, and their mother can get an equal share of family property. Domestic violence, as we have already discussed, criticized in this chapter, the term refer the, the citizen who find fault with the functioning of uh, government can criticize the government policy. Repressive in this chapter, the term refers to laws that use brutal matter to control persons and prevent them from exercising their fundamental rights. I hope you like my video. Thank you.